If you play a lot of Roblox SCP-3008, then you probably know that gathering materials can get pretty annoying. Sometimes you'll be building your base just for it to get griefed. It is the worst thing ever. But what if there was a way to quickly create an easy to build base that was also really secure? Now that is exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be building a corner base in 3008. And for those who need an intro, howdy, Raid here, welcome back to an all new video. Let's hop right into making this corner base. Now, when you start to build any type of base in 3008, especially a corner base, you gotta understand why you're building it in the first place. Survival shouldn't be the only reason you're building your base. The best thing about corner bases is that when you've got two walls in the corner, all you have to worry about is another two walls to create. So look at this, guys. We've got a nice empty plot. If you want to use this as part of your base, feel free to. Personally, I'm going to delete all of this. I think I might use pallets to make the base. Now, this type of palette just looks really, really smooth, really fits the 3008 vibe that I want for this base, and all that I have to do when I'm actually making the first wall is set it up like this, so this connects into the wall somehow, so that you won't worry about that wall. Like, that's already going to become a part of your base. And of course, do remember, I'm only using pallets because I love using them. You can use any material you want to make a corner base. There's no rule saying you need this to make a corner base, you know? Also, I'm using the snap to grid range of 0.75. I personally like how it looks. It looks pretty clean. Building a corner base like this will definitely save you so much time. You're going to be thanking yourself that you've got a nice little corner base. And look at that. We are completely done with the walls right here. I know it looks a little weird because there's no door. We're going to add one soon. Okay, so now that it's time to make a door, let me actually give you guys a mini lesson on building doors. When you're building doors, never have an open area in the middle of your base. Don't have this open creek. Have some security, guys. My tip is that you add a crouch door or a slide door or a sliding crouch door if you can. Sliding door are pretty fun and pretty awesome look at that you can make a really smooth sliding door that only you can get through most employees won't go through now this is a pretty weird plot we've got this long countertop all over here so we're gonna use that for decorations later the next thing you want to add in a corner base is security you can actually add an extra fence if you'd like okay so it's not the best trap in the world but basically if you place a bunch of these all around it'll actually look really really cool and it'll actually stop employees from easily getting into your base basically if it's placed like that and an employee's chasing you you just crouch under it and get into your base quickly that way you've got like two layers of security for your base and try to place that all around your base i know it doesn't look like it's the best thing in the world but still it looks pretty cool it pretty much looks like barbed wire as i said before you're gonna be really happy with how this turns out because the amount of times that this is gonna save you in your corner base is going to be crazy now this one here is actually a lot closer there's not much room to run like in this one but the thing about that is because there's no door right there the door is right here so this is what we have to worry about and a lot of you guys might say wait can't employees climb over this but the thing is you're going to be building an extra floor to this which we're going to get into later so this is going to look really good while still not being like a problem for you okay now that it's time to build the second floor of this base you all probably know that it's speed build time. By the way, if you got this far in the video, comment corner down below.
Okay, so the second floor is finished, but the thing is, I'm gonna have to test out if there can be a roof or not. I know it looks really dark in game. Can an employee jump from here up there? That is the question. Because the thing is, we do give them like a lot of jumping space, but can they actually jump up that high? That's pretty much what I want to take a look at. So let me open up the time menu, toggle day and night. This employee is gonna try to run after me, but the thing is, are they gonna be able to jump into the base? I know that one employee won't actually prove it, but let's see. I know this one's a short employee. Oh, he's stuck. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Can he jump in? Let's see. Let's see if he can jump in. I know he's stuck right there. He's probably going to leave in the morning. But can he jump from the outside? That is the question. Let's see. Come up here. Hi, Mr. Employee. What's up, bud? Can't really do much to him. I think we're actually going to be pretty good. Let me go spawn like a taller employee. I didn't think I'd get this little guy. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see. We got a regular employee. He's running after us. This is probably going to stop him. Okay, he's jumping up. Oh, oh, dude, I did not know. How high does this man jump? Oh, my God. Hold up. What? That is a very high jumping employee. God damn. Okay, is he stuck? Yo, yo, did I get the employee stuck? I think it actually worked, guys. Okay, so it sucks a little that the employees can jump over this. So what I'm going to try to do is take a ladder and add a few little ridges. Okay, so I'm adding a ladder that'll block them out from jumping higher. Because employees are dangerous. They're going to get into your base regardless. So hopefully these ladders can stop them. Now back into the base. That upstairs area is definitely going to be a balcony. It just looks pretty perfect for like a vibey balcony area for decoration purposes i might just have maybe a few toys here i don't know this definitely does look like a dining room table i might use it for that but honestly i do want to make a bedroom and it's weird to have like a dining room table in the bedroom i definitely need some lamps i was thinking about using tvs between these cracks oh man that's already starting to look good i really like that listen everybody you have to have a rocket launcher and assault rifle on your dinner table this is literally how people in america eat okay so right next to all of these rifles i'm just gonna add a few chairs it'll be pretty funny to see people eating pasta right next to like our rocket launcher Guys, Gotta have some meatballs for dinner, best thing in the world. Everybody loves meatballs. I actually love how meatballs lag out when you duplicate them. They just start to fly and shake like this. Look at that, dude, it's hilarious. So we've got a nice little living room area. You guys can add paintings if you want. You can do whatever you want with this corner base, but this is like some kind of meeting compound, I guess. You've got the dining room, and then when you're done, you can talk to your guests on these couches. Just for this video, I'm gonna be doing something really, really wacky. I don't recommend doing this in 3008, but I'm gonna be having my own employee zoo in a base, and boom. Oh, Jim Scary is escaping, dude. Look at that. Now, for this next area, I was thinking about adding, like, a private movie theater. I thought that would be pretty fun. So, let me actually try to set that up. Let's see. First things first, you gotta have, like, the first row. I guess I could just place these couches on top of each other. I don't think there's gonna be too many problems. This is a nice little couch area. You've got enough space for a few of your buddies. And now we've gotta work on the screen. I guess I could just go down duplicate a TV and add it up and get ready to make a screen. Look at that. That is a huge screen. It looks amazing. You got your own custom movie theater. You've got an employee zoo with a Jim Scary himself, except the only thing you really see is his hair. Maybe if you get up here, you could see something else. His forehead. Comment what movie you guys think people would watch in this movie theater. Building bases in 3008 is really fun, but it can also get really crazy. So if you need some base building ideas, that playlist that just popped up on your screen has all my newest 3008 videos on different types of bases. But that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.